Hi, welcome to CJ Why Money Entertainment. If you've never been to my channel before, on Fridays we keep it real with topics that's trending on social media or people ask me to talk about. Today's topic has came from Facebook, reopening of America, certain states. The reopening has start uh, April the 30th and other places May the 1st. I can understand why the states is reopening. They're reopening because of economy. They're reopening because people can't afford to pay their bills. Landlords still want their money. Credit cards still want their money. And $1,200, certain places is just rent. And they haven't even received the stimulus check yet. Uh, you also have 24.5 million people who's applied for unemployment. Um, some has been denied and others has not even received the unemployment check. So they don't know how they're going to keep their household running. You have states that economy wise, because it's been a shutdown, that states isn't making any money to survive the economy. So I can understand why they're opening. I totally agree for the states that is opening with precaution involved, stating that you should still wear masks when you're in public, stating that you should follow the distance between each other, the hand washing, and stating only go in these places if necessary and not opening up recreational facilities. I don't understand the states that's opening up beaches. I don't care how much safety you think. A beach is wide open. People's going to play. A virus is going to spread. I also don't understand hair salons, nail salons, barbershops. You are not providing a safety distance for this virus. People's out there saying it's fake news. There's a lot of things that people saying about this virus. How do you know what to believe? Believe the doctors. Doctors know what they're doing. That's why they're a doctor. And if you don't need to believe that, go see the dead bodies that's piled up because of this virus that's hitting us all. No matter how old you are, no matter how healthy you are. This has to do with people surviving, generations surviving. That's what this has to do with. And it's too soon without a cure, without a treatment, for people to just go out there and think that they can take off their masks and enjoy their summer like nothing is going on. People have put their life, I call heroes, the doctors, the nurses, the first responders, the truckers, the drivers, the grocery workers. Life on the line when they first heard about this virus. To make sure that we still had food and to make sure we still had the essentials that we needed for our family. Because nobody knew that this was coming. And when it did come, we waited two months or so before doing anything about this virus. But now we know. Are these people still going to get ahead and put their life on the line knowing that people's going to go out there to go to a bowling alley, go get their hair done, go get their nails done like this? The virus doesn't exist. We already know that it's asymptomatic. So people next to you, you don't know if they got that virus or not. Sometimes they don't know if they got the virus or not. But what we do know is that it's contagious extremely contagious so to wrap this up it's like a doctor saying hey you need glasses to drive and you say well you know what i can see so you go in a car you drive anyway and you have a major accident and you survive like the virus you say hey i'm fine i survived i got some scratch or whatever but i survived and the family next to you is wounded some severely bad. And you say, you know what? Hopefully, I'll pray for them. And they'll overcome that. And then you look in the back seat. You see a baby that's dead. That's what it's about. 
It's not just about you thinking that you can survive and you'll be okay. It's about the others that's out there. The babies that's out there. The elderly people that's out there. People who is trying to stay safe. That's what it's about. It's up. Yes, I think states should be opening with severe cautions. Not salons, not beaches, not bowling alleys. How it is, it is Friday, and I'm tired, and I'm out. Likes up. If you like this video, slap that subscribe button, because you want to see more.